Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this morning for the Tuesday album review. And this is for a Cage the Elephant's self-titled album review. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to and let you know my thoughts on this album. So let's dive into this review. Now, this is their first debut album. And I was pretty surprised with how good it was. Sorry that you see a scar around my eye and all that. I don't know how I got that. I think I woke up with it. But, uh, pretty much... Yeah, I do like the In One Ears track. That was a really good song. The majority of these tracks are really good. Um, I'm really surprised... Uh, there were a few tracks on here that weren't so great. Like, the James Brown track was just iffy to like. It... Yeah, some of these tracks can get iffy to like, but if you look past that and you just enjoy the... You enjoy the melody. Sorry, that's someone talking. If you enjoy the melodies and all that for this track, and most of the tracks, then you'll come to like it. But, pretty much, I did enjoy this record. Uh, Back Against the Wall had a weird music video, but still, I think it did really good to be entertaining. Um, It's just weird with the... What is it, the, I can't describe what they're called, but these minions or whatever, or with their hats or whatever, and they're burning the lead singer alive, and it's really weird, and it just, it's just really weird, that video, the way they're the costume design is set up for them and back against the wall. If you know what I'm talking about. It's so weird and creepy at the same time. But it's still a good song. And Drones in the Valley was a favorite. Definitely. Free Love definitely sold me with the screams that the lead singer does in the song. I completely forgot what the lead singer's name is i know i did an album review of theirs this year for the new social cues album and i think i remembered who the name of the lead singer was but it's been a while so my memory is very foggy so you might have to remind me in the comments below but pretty much this record is Pretty solid. And pretty good. Uh, Ain't No Rest for the Wicked. The first single was really good. I think Back Against the Wall was the second single. And then it was In One Ear uh, afterwards. But In One Ear didn't come out till 2010. That single. So, and the music video didn't come out in 2010. Till 2010. So, yeah. Um... Backstabbing Betty was a pretty good one. It was weird. And most of these tracks are just really strange with how the lead singer's voice is. How he's singing it. And it's just... Ugh, very weird. <laughs> Lotus was a really solid track. It was the last track I gave a 4.5 out of 5 for. Which isn't a bad rating, it's just... There was a misstep in the track that I found. Um, somewhat of the melody, but... I'd have to go back and listen to this record again, but... It's pretty short for how much of an adventure you're going on with this record. <laughs> it's only like... If you add the bonus track, it's like 39 minutes. So, it's not really that long. But it's pretty good. Um, Cover Me Again was the bonus track, and I really did like that. 
soil to the sun was pretty awesome. Um, some of these tracks did get very weird. Judas, well, Drones in the Valley was, like, very short. I was surprised with how short it was. It was only, like, 2 minutes and 28 seconds. But it still did really good. And just the guitar work in this album and the drum work in this record does a pretty solid job. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it does a solid job to be entertaining. And there's one guitarist in the uh, in one ear video that I saw where he's just like stringing the guitar really fast. Like jamming out with the guitar riff that he's doing and it's pretty awesome. I just like that he's so into it and invested in really making the song entertaining and it's pretty cool. It's weird how he does a little dance while he's stringing the guitar or something like that. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. And how the In One Ear video was pretty awesome too. Where he's like, and we're going to burn them motherfuckers down. And then he goes, Wah! and it's pretty cool. <laughs> I just like that uh, scream that the lead singer does. It's pretty awesome. Tiny Little Robots was another track that I wasn't fond of. But I didn't mind it. But yeah, uh, this record did pretty good. And unfortunately, guys, this is going to be my last Tuesday album review. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Tuesday album reviews that I've done since July all the way to now. Because this is the last Tuesday album review for this season. And next season, it'll start back up again in June. So it's going to be a little while. But... Uh... I gotta take a break once in a while to make up what next Tuesday album reviews I'm gonna be doing. But out of 10, I'm gonna give this record an 8.5 out of 10. This is a pretty good record. Just, there are a couple tracks on here that weren't so great, but I think they did a good job and executed very well with this record. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Tuesday album review for Cage the Elephant self-titled album. If you liked it. And if you like this review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for uh, the Knives Out movie review sometime later this week. I don't know when. I'll just come back at you when I can for it. And I think tonight I'll be doing the weekend's new track review for Blinding Lights and Heartless, I think it's called. I think he's releasing two tracks tonight. I'm not 100% for sure, but I'll let you know when I find them on YouTube. Or when they get released. But pretty much I hope you guys enjoyed this last Tuesday album review. I really had a good time uh, making these Tuesday album reviews for you guys. But I will do a recap video for it in two weeks. Which will be December 10th. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this last Tuesday album review. Take care. And I'll see you in the recap video in two weeks for it. Plus, I'll see you in my next video as well.